Hello friends, today we will show you how to access the inaccessible virtual machine in ESX uh, environment. So actually this machine has been inaccessible due to the failure of one HP Blade server on which the ESX was installed and there was a multiple virtual machine was created. So after that, uh, before that we have migrated all the virtual machines except the two three virtual machines which was earlier lying on this ESX and after the multiple reboot of the uh, blade server this virtual machine has been inaccessible so today we have today just we have tried to so many uh, articles and search online but i did not get the the exact the solution to how to turn on this virtual machine so just going to uh, power on so let's see So let me show you if I will uh, click on this virtual machine and uh, it's already showing in the inaccessible mode and if I try to click on the power on but uh, the all the options are grayed out so it uh, so it will the so it this machine will not be power on so first of all we have to just uh, check uh, this virtual machines the data store where is the all VMDK and uh, all the just uh, configuration files are stored so uh, this uh, this virtual machine is just showing on this uh, storage so we'll just click here and go to this uh, data store and this data store is already uh, placed on the uh, on the sign storage so you will click here on the virtual machine tab it will show the here the multiple virtual machines and here it's already one machine is showing the inaccessible modes right so we have to just click browse data store on the LAN and uh, we'll find here the virtual machine which we are showing the inaccessible okay so so this machine is uh, not accessible in the ESX so first of all these are the machines these are the all the files related to this virtual machine like the VMX, VMFX, VMSD, VMDK and VRAM and so on so first we have to do one thing before uh, just uh, do anything here we have to just uh, remove this inaccessible virtual machine from the inventory so we'll go to the host and cluster and we'll go to this host and we'll right click here and then we'll click remove from the inventory so once it will remove here then 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 we have to just go to the data store we'll go to the data store here and uh, we'll browse this data store and uh, this is the virtual machines so now this virtual machine has been removed from the inventory so we'll go to the nvram file oh sorry vmx file and we'll have to just click on add to inventory then it will show where you have to just move the virtual machine so we are just going to uh, move this virtual machine on this server and now here click and finish So we'll go to the host and clusters and go to this mesh host. So now it will show the machine here. So now this machine is showing here on this host. Now we'll turn on this machine. So now you will see on the screen now we are getting the power on machine 
sorry power on options here we'll click on the power on and uh, it will take some time okay this option will show the cancel move it and copy it so I have just uh, click on I move it and just click on ok and go to the console button so as you see on this screen so now this machine has been turned on and this machine is booting up now so this was the method to just turn on the any inaccessible machine on the ESX host by using this method and uh, so thanks for watching this video and if you just like this video then just go ahead and click on the like and subscribe this channel thank you